Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us at six. We just want to let you know that this next story deals with an adult subject matter here, and it's created an issue that is swirling around a Kenton County courtroom right now. We're talking about a doll involved in it was sent from China to Fort Mitchell, and it led to the arrest of the man who accepted that package. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live in Covington with the issues behind that headline. Tom. Well, that Fort Mitchell man whom we're not naming at this point was originally accused of three charges, one of them having material portraying a minor in a sexual offense and true drugs co drug counts. But a judge dismissed that sex charge saying a child sex doll is not an actual person, therefore it's not child pornography. The Commonwealth is deciding whether to appeal that ruling and whether to try and change state law. Kentucky State Police were watching when a package was delivered to this apartment building September 25th. Knowing the resident had ordered a sex doll, they waited to make sure he accepted the delivery. When they went in, not only did they find that the package uh, that they had intercepted uh, contained a child sex doll, but also they found another doll representing a child that was also being used as a sex doll. Kenton County Commonwealth Attorney Rob Sanders says he's never seen a case quite like this. It's shocking. My first reaction when the state police brought me this case was, who on earth even makes a child sex doll? That's just disgusting. Search warrants show investigators seized two female sex dolls, one six to eight years old and the other an infant, plus a computer and cell phone. The accused was arraigned in Kenton District Court before Judge Douglas Grothaus. There was a legal question that was put forth by the defense attorney to the judge about whether or not a doll constitutes matter portraying the sexual performance of a minor. Judge Grothaus ruled that while he found the doll and the defendant's actions repulsive, he dismissed the charge because no actual child was involved. He based it on a Ninth Circuit federal court decision, but Sanders disagrees. We think that a doll can represent an actual child, especially when you can order dolls um, specifically. This like you could order a, a child's baby doll to look like your child, you can order these child sex dolls to look like a specific child as well. While deciding whether to appeal, Sanders is urging Kentucky legislators to pass a law saying a sex doll is child pornography. That way we won't have to have this dispute if anybody's ever uh, sick enough to order another child sex doll in the future. Kentucky State Representative Adam Koenig says he's on board with that idea. We just need to look at it and, and update it to make it clear that uh, we don't really want uh, the selling or the ownership of, of uh, these child sex dolls in, in Kentucky. Now there's also legislation at the federal level being considered. It's called the Creeper Act, and that stands for Curbing Realistic Exploitive Electronic Pedophilia Robots. Quite a mouthful, but very important legislation for the coming months. Tom McKean, not on your side, live in Covington. 